everybody, it's Tyler here at the Highlander Summit Signature Event, checking in 2145B Pink Swirly Unicorns. We checked in with one of their other teams uh, earlier this year, and uh, Pink Swirly having a phenomenal event so far, so we're interested to dive more into what their robot brings. Just a lot of great different amalgamations, I think, of uh, successful game pieces that we've seen so far. Multiple different D-score mechs we'll be talking about, 40 RPM drivetrain, and a lot of great stuff that goes into this. So let's dry, dive into all about the robot coming up here on Fits and Parts. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. The Robotics Education and Competition Foundation provides fantastic programs for students from elementary school all the way through college. These include VEX, Aerial Drone Competition, Online Challenges, JROTC, Girl Powered, Scholarships, Certifications, and so much more. To discover these exciting opportunities, visit recf.org and get connected. Luke, let's dive more into this robot here. It's talking about that 40 RPM drivetrain, uh, extremely impressed with that. And then you got some cool stuff with passive funnels and a little bit more on your intake too you want to talk about. Yeah, so right here we have a 480 RPM drive, 48 teeth to 60 teeth. Um, and what this does is it's a little bit faster than 450, which is what most teams are running. And you know, it gives us a little edge when we're trying to go from goal to goal uh, to, you know, get an advantage over like the teams that are um, a little bit slower than us. It helps us to play defense better. So yeah, and then also I would like to talk about everything that we have mounted, like our brain, our tank, and you know, all in the battery. This is all mounted like really low. And this gives us a really low center of gravity. It helps us to, um, when, when I'm driving, I'm able to drive as fast as possible without tipping. And it also helps to um, just, you know, give us a little bit like more control when I'm driving. So yeah, and then I also want to talk about our intake structure right here. Um, so what we have is we have a pivoting intake right here and uh, with flex wheels. And ha we have a little chain tensioner here. And if you could just, it, the chain tensioner actually makes it keep contact the entire time and it acts to actually intake faster. And then we also have these flaps right here. And what it's able to do is, and there's also zip ties here. So the balls are able to freely just move in there so that the motor doesn't burn out and it's able to just stay in the robot when we want to fill it up with like around eight to nine balls. We also have the top stage here. What this does is this shoots the ball out like, and that, um that shoots us out and we're using uh, one motor for each stage and that gives us full power like just so that we can really push that you know against teams that like uh, only have like a half motor so yeah and then yeah, that's about it and also for middle goal scoring we have this little piston here and then we have a macro where if we press this button it um, runs the middle goal it presses down this presses down this right here and then it runs the outtake so that it's able to score consistently. So looking at, at Mall of America event, I think your entire program has vastly improved coming into Highlander yes. uh, so far. What do you think like the biggest key to improvement has been uh, from Mall of America to Highlander? Just really seeing like what went wrong with Mall of America, like what was the things that made us just below the competition and we really like made sure that we were above and like ready for this competition. Mall of America, you know, everything was last minute. So, you know, we wanted to really be ready this competition. We also just learned from the teams that did the best at Mall of America. And that's why we like integrated from different teams like 9123X and 16610A. And obviously paying good dividends as you're having a great performance here so far. Let's pass over to Cullen, talk uh, more about your uh, D-score max. I love that you guys are running uh, three, by the way. Most teams we talk to only have like one or two or something like that, but you add a third one as well too. So break these down for me and how you're utilizing them. Uh, yeah, thank you. Um, so basically for our D-score max, we have our main one, which after we score, it's on our hood and it like just pushes it out more. So first off, it can't come back out and it just it keeps it like steady. And the only thing that like keeps it in is the motors, which are way stronger than this. And then also, if you drive back and then you drive forward, it knocks them out the back, giving us a better advantage and 
more chance to get control zone. And then moving on to the other, our wing. Um, Want to activate that? Our wings. They so they hover over the goal, and then when we're ready, we uh, click it in, and it's like hooked into that channel. And we can like either pull it out or push in, depending on what color it is that we want to get to the control zone or knockout. And then here's our final second used, second most used uh, D score mech, our middle state or er, middle middle goal D score mech for, uh, for the top middle goal. So when there's like a bunch in there we don't even have to go that fast we get to slowly go in and it pushes all the rest out especially since that tube is so short it's just slides right out most of the times so from a match strategy is this all pretty situational for you or do you find like hey at a certain point in the match typically we're finding ourselves descoring at some certain point in time can you kind of break that down a little bit for me oh yeah for instance this you just like go in and it descores this one you go in and it descores this one you have to like line it up This one you have to like line up and then like push it in for it to actually work. Are you using it as more of like a defensive move then to actually like keep your own uh, blocks in or are you finding your wings are actually using it also D-score at the same time? Um, more so both because we can have like a like room for like less balls to be in the actual tube and for um, just D-scoring in general. Sure, let's pass over to Grady on finalize a few other aspects of this role. Uh, first off, uh, your uh, match lure, which is apparently called Little Will. We'll have to talk about that a little bit. Yeah. Uh, and also uh, a bit more on your controller screen and some of the customization you're doing on that too. So um, one thing that I pers I personally haven't seen on a bunch of other robots is our, D our uh, match litter mech actually uses a high strength axle instead of standoffs, which um, standoffs actually bend a lot from what we've seen. So we are just able to cut um, uh, drill four holes into it, um, into a high strength axle, and it works pretty well without bending. Uh, we also use a poly piece that is that is really flexible, which allows us to basically just get blocks that are like blocks in almost any position in the match loader. And then, so like Luke was talking about our 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 brain being so low down, it's hard to access and change any autos that we want to do for that match, which has made us need to make a, um, a controller auto selector, which you can control with the arrows. Just kinda, it's unfortunately quite slow, but I think that's as fast as we can actually get it because of the, um, uh, just how Vex and the controllers work. Well, overall, 2145B, congratulations on a great performance so far. We're filming this the, at the end of uh, day one, and you're in the, I think, top five right now. Uh, so looking great so far, but we can't wait to see how you do the rest of the way. Thanks for taking the time to tell us more about this, and we can't wait to see how you do throughout the rest of the season. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell to stay up to date on future fun videos. The Robotics Education and Competition Foundation provides fantastic programs for students from elementary school all the way through college. These include VEX, Aerial Drone Competition, Online Challenges, JROTC, Girl Powered, Scholarships, Certifications, and so much more. To discover these exciting opportunities, visit recf.org and get connected.